Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. <laughs>
What we're going to shoot today, we're going to shoot the uh, field target trophies that are 14.66 grain pellet. This rifle is not overly pellet picky. It does well with the Crossman Premier Hollow Points, and it does really good with these uh, field target trophies too. And I'm sure there's many others you can find. Hey, I want to thank Splatterburst for supplying these targets. We're going to be shooting the 4 inch targets here. And we're, like I said, we're just going to see how well it groups. They don't all hit in the, the red dot in the center. That's okay. We just want to see how they group. So go ahead and take a quick look. This is about how far we're shooting from. It's our standard 20 yards. All right, let's see how well we can uh, make this group here. And again, I always like to keep my hand on these brake barrels when you're loading them, just in case, just safety reasons. All right, we are shooting up my bipods here, which makes a nice stable platform. Let's see how well we can make this group. That's one. That's two. And three. And four. And five. Yeah, you know, with the exception of that first shot, the rest of them are a really nice, nice group, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test out our 95 and uh, check out what our pull weight is on the trigger. These have the Quattro triggers, which are actually the nicest on trigger. So let's see what we're set up here for. All right, got our trusty diamond trigger gauge here. Let's get a little pull. All right, two pounds, 14 ounces. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Yeah, that's, uh, these are actually pretty nice triggers, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a little plinking with our Hassan 95. We're going to go ahead and use the field target trophies. These are the 14.66, uh, the same ones we did in the target shooting, the accuracy test. So I got some objects up there. We're about 40 yards back. Go ahead and take a quick look. So I got a tin can, like a soup can, steel egg, a little bird, a pig, and it looks like a seltzer can. So let's see how well we do from this distance. I know at 40 yards I have to compensate a little bit. This shoots a little bit to the left. So I've got a mill dot scope, so I'll just use one of the dots to the right to compensate for that. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's start with the uh, can on the left side. I can confirm where this thing's hitting. So if it was shooting to the left. Okay. That's definitely a hit. Gonna get a little tougher here with that little egg. Okay. A little steel egg. Oh yeah. Come on, it's just the slightest movement at this distance. Okay, big bird. Actually, I'm going to hit the seltzer and then go back to the pig. I was afraid if I hit the pig first, 
some of the lead fragments would have splattered over and punctured our can. So I wanted a direct hit on the can. See, that was our little climatic event there. All right, let's knock the pig out and wrap this up. All right. Well, that's how it's on at 40 yards, not too shabby. I like to do that to show you if you were shoot, like hunting and you were shooting smaller, you know, pester animals from a distance, what type, uh, how effective it would be. And you see how hard it hits those steel plates. Those are designed for rim fire uh, rounds, but it hits them pretty well. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. That was a lot of fun. It's always fun plinking, you know that. But anyway, let's uh, let's talk about this 95 a little bit in. Any of the reviews I do, as you know, we got to start out with the negatives on this. And I have a huge negative with this rifle. My number one negative is these Vortex gas pistons. I have to be honest with you. This is my number one negative. Yes, these Vortex gas pistons. They don't last. They just don't. I've had approximately 15 brake barrel and under lever Hassan rifles over the years. Um, truthfully, 50% of them have failed on me. These gas pistons has failed. And ironically, I'm going to tell you that this one failed at me at the end of the review. I went out, I pulled it out again to go cock it, and no pressure whatsoever. I've tried recharging these. Some of these older ones, you can recharge them. Uh, they, don't, they don't hold the air. They leak it within a couple of days. But seriously, and I'm not kidding on this, 50% of these gas pistons, the Vortex gas pistons, has failed on me. They really have. Now I've got other rifles, other brands that you guys are very familiar with that have gas pistons. They're 10 plus years old, never an issue. But these, half of them are failing. I can only hope they're improving these because I've replaced quite a few of those. And I don't know if you've dealt with Hassan. It's a little bit of a process. You've got to send an email in, then they get back to you, you um, telling you about the availability of the parts, and a lot of times they're out of them. But that's everybody right now. We can't fault them for that. And then they have to send you another invoice back, and you pay for that, and they send you the part. So once you get through that process, if you can get through that process and actually get your hand on the part, um, I have replaced quite a few of them, hadn't had any issues with the updated pistons that I've had thus far. So, like I said, hopefully they'll improve it. But that is my number one pet peeve with this rifle. It really is. The other one was the stock scope. That's why it's not on here. The little 3 by 9 by 32 It failed within like the first week of shooting this rifle. It really did. So, not the best scope to be messing with. So I need a new type one piston for this one. So we'll see how long it takes me to take care of that. But what I am gonna do is when I get that type one piston, I'm gonna do a full tune on this rifle, a complete full tune. It'll probably show up on my website at some point, but it'll be tricked out, that's for sure. All right, let's talk about the good. Uh, it's a $200 rifle right around that price. If you decide you wanna get the quiet energy, it's a little bit quieter on the DBs, but overall, this gun is backyard friendly. It's not that loud, even without a suppressor. It's just not. Uh, it's not pellet picky. It loves the Crossman Premiers. You saw I was using the uh, the H and N, the 14.66. Those were fantastic. Those H and Ns. Uh, it comes with a really nice stock. The stock is nice, and I love the fact that it's ambidextrous, so you can you know shoot it obviously whether you're a right-handed or a left-handed shooter. The open sights on it are terrific. The fiber optic sights that they put on this, fantastic. And I said in the beginning, even with my bad eyes, I can actually get a pretty good sight picture with these. I really can. It's got the Quattro trigger. Quattro trigger is very nice. Definitely a nice trigger. You can really adjust that down. And they're a little bit more complicated to work on yourself to polish them. In fact, I will do that when I tune this. But uh, it's a good trigger overall. It really is. We had good accuracy. You saw. We shot, well, our five shots, we had that one shot that uh, was a little high into the left on us, but the other ones grouped really well. So we were under, we were well under three quarters of an inch with overall five, and then well under a half inch, four out of the five. So it does have good accuracy, had good power. You shot, you saw that we were shooting uh, in the 800s, just as the manufacturer suggests is about 800, and that's what we were getting. A little higher, actually. So we had good accuracy. Also, the caulking effort's not bad on this. We're looking in the mid-30s, mid-30 pounds to caulk it, so that's not bad. So you're getting a lot of rifle for that price. However, it's going to be a coin toss whether this lasts or not.
So like I said, I'm hoping maybe some of the newer versions, this rifle is several years old, so I'm hoping some of the newer versions will last. But I'm telling you, I've had 50% of them fail on me. I'm not even kidding. So with that, overall, how would I rate this gun? Ah, three and a half stars. This, this is just, I just can't put up with that. I'm sorry. So, yeah, so am I a gas piston guy or a spring piston guy? You guys ever want to know that? I lean more towards the spring pistons just because they're easy to replace. You can upgrade the springs. There's just a lot you can do with those. This you're pretty much fixed with. So, let's see. Anyway, so that's our Hassan 95. So, once again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Air Gun Detective. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you're getting a lot of shooting in. I hope your families are all doing well. So God bless and take care.